Union Jack furniture ideas. Okay, I've created my own Union Jack furniture by using two pieces of second-hand furniture. This was 40 quid, that was 50 quid. Using chalk paint and then furniture transfers. What set it off was a dresser behind. That was my first go at redesigning a bit of furniture. I saw it look like before. You can see it in the background, I think. Looks a lot better. And whilst looking for ideas for that, I came across the Union Jack transfers. They were in my dog grooming salon. And always, really, I've had a bit of a thing about the Union Jack. It's bright, it's bold. And when I found the transfers, I was like, oh my God, I've given me a right good idea now, because I already had this cabinet. Because I don't really do boring. I know I could have just put the cabinet in to put my towels in the dog grooming room. But now, well, this is just going to look brilliant in the dog grooming room. I absolutely love it. And this one was going in there, but I spent that long on it. It's turned out a little masterpiece. I'm keeping it myself. So the main colour is navy, Oxford navy. I used Annie Sloan chalk paint. But any chalk paint will do, or any paint will do. This is just to give you an idea. Navy blue for the main base. And then I've obviously painted the doors red. I painted all the drawers red. But then I realised, well, it would look better navy. And I wanted to, this was like my go crazy wild. We're going in the dog grooming salon and it doesn't matter what I do. I use frog tape, which is like a green tape and it's going to give you perfect straight lines. I've used that for the drawers and also all the way around the side of the circular tall boy. I did do it on the side of here and then I changed my mind. Well, I'll tell you, I'll come to what happened. So I've got the main colours. You don't need a lot of chalk paint, I tell you, it goes a long way. So, once I've got my main painting done, I can do the transfers, which is a bit I've been waiting to do. And I started, I was actually really quite worried about doing that because it's across drawers. It's quite intricate. Ah, epic fail. <laughs> epic fail, right? I didn't realise. They're actually dead, dead easy to use, these transfers. But as I'd lifted it up trying to get it central, a piece of the transfer had fallen down and folded on itself and they are so mega sticky I ended up with a big gap because I was trying to be tight and making one of these packs go between two pieces of furniture or well, then I got straight on the internet and ordered another transfer two weeks later it still hasn't arrived I've had to order a different one and what I've then done is cut the piece what was missing and that's how easy they are to use if you do make a right bodge like I did you just patch it in so it now looks like a masterpiece and what you also get in this pack is the three hearts now you can split those up if you like so I've got one on there I did actually put three on there but they didn't look right so I painted over them because they're so thin they really, really work well. And, and say, if you make a right bodge, you could paint over it and do it again, can't you? Buy another one. On the top of the circular, the actual flag, you get a decent sized flag. I've cut that into a circular, a circle. And obviously on this one, I've split it up. I've cut pieces out and then dabbed paint on to give it a bit of a, there was a flag there and someone's tried to paint over it. Look, you know. I'm just having a play with this. You get the stamps. I'll show you these. These stamps are brilliant. They are like a first class stamp, but they've got a Union Jack background and they've got the Queen's head on. Now I photographed the Queen in 2018, the Cocker Spaniel Championships. Oh God, here we go. Look. That's what happens with these, have to be careful. So for me, having those stamps, absolutely love having those stamps on the furniture which is on the side of the circular tall boy because I've got two packs now I've got two lots of transfers and I've actually got it on the top of this now it might look a bit random how I've done the top of this one but as it's my own furniture it's like my bespoke design I've got a Union Jack dog grooming toolbox what's going here and my radio's going there and I can see those stamps what else do you get? You get a dog. You get a British Bulldog in the pack. And, well, I don't want British Bulldog on mine. But if you look closely, you've actually got a flag there. So I've now created a bit of a 
flag again what's someone's tried to paint over so it looks like it's been worn where the grooming box is going and it's actually on the back of the circular tall boy what else do you get in the pack that's all i use because oh yeah phone box red phone box which had a bit of a disaster with that as well because i'm waiting for the transfer to come i can't leave it alone i start doing bits and bobs to it i had a little stencil and I've got some of that gold leaf, which is like the gold paper, and some spray glue. <laughs> so I thought I'll st I got the stencil on the side of the box, which is covering the phone box a bit, and I spray glued it to put the gold on, and all I did was the stencil stuck to the side of the furniture and ripped part of the phone box off. But as it was, I put the phone box right down there, I'll turn it around and it actually looks better so it wasn't the end of the world well it still needs finishing this and waxing i gave it a border basically i know and then i've lifted up the phone box and i've actually got some little pheasant transfers and i'm going to put a pheasant on top of the phone box because although they've called this transfer pack which is redesigned by P P prima i think they're called it's called London Love. Well, if it's called London Love, you would have thought you would have Big Ben, the underground, red double, red double decker bus. Well, luckily they haven't got those because, well, it's UK, isn't it? It's not just London. I think it's American. And they all think the UK is London and that's it. There's nothing else to the UK. Well, there is. We've got red phone boxes around here. And if you're of my era, that phone box, you will probably remember going to the phone box when you were a kid and reversing the charges for your mum to come and pick you up. So these transfers, what you do is you're just going to sort of scratch them on and the transfer tool is dead handy. You get a little stick in the pack, but the transfer tool makes it much easier to get your transfer off. The gold pins are upholstery pins. But yeah, yeah, I love it. And what I'm going to do now is get this one straight up the grooming room. First, I've got to see if it'll fit in the car because I've got a new car. And when I got it, I had my Chiran. The Chiran is like a great big delivery van. And my duster isn't. Before I get it in the car, I've finished. When you do your chalk paint, you can wax it or you can put a lacquer on it. I've waxed it because what will happen when you paint this chalk paint, it looks dead flat. But once you wax it, it brings a colour out. Now, the only problem is, I read on the wax, if it's going to be near water, or basically, the dog grooming room is like a bathroom. I don't know what's going to happen to it. Because I was going to varnish it. But you sort of get going and having, having a play with these things and I wanted it to look right. So now it's just been waxed. I'm going to have to take my chance. Because when you wax it, you also have to wait for it to cure. The wax takes about five days. So, I don't know. In a couple of weeks, I might be able to varnish over it to try and protect it in the grooming room. You can buy outdoor lacquer. But to be quite honest, I bought that many different things for it. I'm not buying nothing else. Because it is only a cupboard for putting dog towels in. So I'll go and get it in my car. There, I've got the cupboard in. It just fit in my Dacia duster in the back. I had to take the dog cage out. I think it looks bang tidy, that. For what I want, that's exactly what is going to be, you know, going to do my job. Now, what I did have in the corner, I took a photo before, before I moved it, this brown, like, little storage box. It gone completely mouldy inside, which is another reason why I needed this cupboard. Anyway, bye-bye. And this had been balancing on it for four and a half years. You needed a slight knock or a dog to sniff into it and it nearly fell off, which is another reason for the cupboard. Now, I had my radio on the windowsill and now it's at arm's reach, so I'm a good tuner. I can turn it up and keep my hand on the dog. Somewhere to park my cup of tea. That's how they speak, isn't it, in London? Here you are, cup of tea. Well, now my cup of tea has got somewhere to go. Why you have a cup and saucer in a dog grooming room? And so you can put the saucer on top, you're not going to get dog hairs in your cup of tea. Right? 
That's sorted. I will take some decent photos and put them on my website when I've tidied that box out. I've done enough tidying up today, I can't be bothered to do it now. But yeah, but what I want, that's bang tidy. And we've got now, I've got my towels in a cupboard. I've got my spare set, oh, sets, I've got four sets of dog clippers down there. Invoice, bits and bobs, pens, leaflets I give to people, all tidy. I'm somewhere to put my mobile phone. Yeah, all with the lend and love. Now I have got a blog post, Union Jack Furniture, which I will finish off and put everything I've used on both pieces of furniture because I've got like the bronze wax what I've used, a gold leaf, the handles, but yeah, everything I've used I will put in the blog post so it's easier and put some of the stuff in the link in the description below of the video. I will be doing a video on how to start up your own dog grooming business because you do not need a lot to start up a dog grooming business. I know I've got some nice bits and bobs in here, but you don't, we well, don't need much at all. So, there we go. There's my land and lev furniture transfer on my dog grooming box. Did I tell you that's my logo? My logo is on my, um, well, it's my logo. It's on my Facebook page, it's on my YouTube channel, photography website, dog's website, dog grooming website. That logo is actually Billy, my dog what died a bloat. He was actually alive when I used the photo of him as my logo. But yeah, got the logo on the cupboard as well. And my red and gold mirror matches now. Got video when I made that. That's not rocket science, is it? Okie doke, there we go. London love, furniture transfer. It's brightened up my day, hasn't it? <laughs>